Hey YouTube, Shukin Shinobi here with a review of the Power Rangers Megaforce Deluxe Gosei Morpher. So this will be the changer for the Megaforce Rangers based off of the Ten Soder from Ghost Sager. As you can see, they're almost identical, but we'll get to a better comparison in a little bit. Um, open packaging, which I find interesting uh, given the fact that the Morpher is kind of like the flagship uh, toy for Power Rangers that they give it the packaging that's the most open and most prone to damaging. Uh, if you find one at a store, there's a good chance you might actually find one with some paint nicks in it, because if it's anything like Toys R Us, it'll be on the shelf, some little kid will knock it over and go, BAM! Right on the floor, and then paint chips happen. But anyway, uh, enough of that. I do like the fact that they took a key from Sentai and kind of made it look like the Red Ranger was holding the Morpher. So this plastic here is kind of shaped like a hand, there's a thumb down there, which I find very cool. Stack of cards down there, it does come with 10 power cards, so it's the most profitable toy yet. Pull. That's the opening sound, there is no gotcha, so anyone that was hoping it would keep gotcha for some reason, you're wrong. Yep, more evidence that GoGo -Go Megaforce could indeed be our roll call or our, our uh, morph call, and I'm sad. The cards unlock sounds, victory charge, GoGo -Go Megaforce, summon Megazord, collect cards, unlock phrases, 10 cards included, 5 of which are veteran Red Ranger cards, so that's really cool. Um, card scanner app, which is now on the iOS uh, iTunes store and Android, so it's available for both platforms now. And the action card game, which apparently isn't out until February or something. But anyway, uh, let's get this bad boy, bad boy, bad, 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 bad boy open and take a look. And here we are with the Ghost Save Morpher out of the package. Uh, right quick before we even start doing anything of any sort. Quick comparison. As you can see, the Ten Soder is a darker color uh, with a little bit more vibrant of a silver, but not by much. Uh, whereas the Ghost Save Morpher is actually a slightly more screen accurate, lighter gold color. So, uh, that's nice. Um, from the front, you can actually hardly tell the difference. Um, outside of a couple different paint applications, like the white up here, where it's just ordinary silver up there, at first glance, you probably can't really tell the difference. So that's really cool. Um, the extra height comes from the fact that this has a huge piece on it uh, that latches onto the belt buckle and the Gosei Ten Sword. Whereas this one has a much smaller clip system, um, obviously it will utilize the Gosei Ten Sword, so I'm sure we're going to get one. Otherwise, I don't really see the purpose of these clips. Um, as well as a little latch right here for a for a belt loop that they included with it, so it can dangle on your belt strap and such like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but it is a little bit thinner. Uh, not by too much, not counting the back, but this is still thicker. But that's actually kind of nice, I think. I like the thinner form factor. Um, while it didn't shrink too much, it is thinner, so I do like that. Uh, I think it's kind of neat. Um, obviously, this one has a little bit different sound mechanism. And as you can see, when you open it, the eyes turn red here. And there is a red plastic underneath the uh, Gosei card. Uh, that is really the only differences here. I'm going to turn that off so you don't have to go through that again. Whereas with this one, um, the inside is black and the eyes do not change. Uh, that's really the only major differences outside of the sounds. So um, and this part's a clear hole. So that's good or bad depending on how you view it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so if you open it, you get an opening sound. So that's the opening sound. Um, I would like to note that there is no off switch. You have Try Me, On, and TCG. There is no off. This will always play noise. Um, there is no red on the tray here. It's black, which is, isn't screen accurate, but I do like the look of it. I like the black color. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, in Try Me mode, all it does is open and close and play this sound. Thus hinting at GoGo -Go Megaforce probably being the uh, the morph call for Megaforce, which is saddening, but that's fine. Um, and it does 
sound a lot like Season 1 Zordon, David Fielding. Uh, I highly doubt it's actually him, but whoever's uh, doing the voice for this thing is doing a pretty good representation of se uh, Season 1 Zordon. So it's a nice little throwback there. Um, yeah, that's all Try Me Mode does, so let's actually turn it on. Look at that noise. Uh, same opening sound. That never changes, and when you close it with no card in, you do get Gogo -Go Mega Force still. So even if you don't have any cards, you still can get Gogo -Go Mega Force by simply not inserting a card. Speaking of cards, this comes with 10 different cards. You have the Red Mega Force Ranger P18. Uh, Red Megaforce Ranger, which is the summoning of the Dragon Sword, P23. The Gosei Dragon Mechazord, P27. This will summon the full dragon. Uh, P29, Gosei Great Megazord, the combination card. Uh, P31, also Red Megaforce Ranger. This was Twist Tornado in Gosager. It's just a kind of a special ability attack. Uh, the Red Mystic Force Ranger. P68. Uh, the Red SPD Ranger, P69. Red Jungle Fury Ranger, P73. Red Ninja Storm Ranger, P71. And the Red Wild Forest Ranger, P70. These cards are um, the Daiso cards that came with the Legend Sentai series when Gokaiger started. Each one of those came with a Daiso card. And all five of these were released, and these are the five Daiso cards that came with those. So it's pretty nice to get those in the, the American English version. So that's always fun. So each of these plays a different sound in there to give you a good roundup of different sounds right off the bat without owning any toys whatsoever. So let's go ahead and cycle through those. Uh, this is the change card for Mega Force Red. Simply slide it in, lock it in place with the little tab there, and push it in. Yep. Go, go, Mega Force, because life sucks. So, there's that. Uh, the Dragon Sword summoning card. And this is not off trying your mode. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Summon Battle Gear. Um, all of the weapon cards will say that. Uh, the Dragon Mechazord. Summon Zord. Any of the, like, Brother Zords, any of the full Mechazord cards will all say Summon Zord on it. So here's the Megazord card. Uh, you, can, you can probably guess what that says. All of the Megazord cards for Megaforce will say that. Special attack card. Victory Charge. Um, so for all of you Ghost Sager fans, you know the final attacks inside of the uh, mecha, inside of Ghost Sager Great and stuff, were all Victory Charge. All of the special attack cards, the final attack cards that came with the weapons, um, will all say Victory Charge. So now we get into the Veteran Ranger cards, which are actually really fun. Now this uh, it kind of this is sort of the Ten Soder combined with the Mobirates in kind of a way. Uh, so you'll just pick it up when I when I do it. So you just get a generic uh, like activation sound, which is actually um, I'm sure it was used in a Bandai product before the Mobirates, but it is part of the jingle that the Mobirates plays when it transforms into a different ranger. So you have Mystic Force writing. Kind of guess what all the uh, rest of them are gonna say.
and Jungle Fury. One of my personal favorites. Ninja Storm. I like all of Disney seasons, really. I'm weird like that. And last but not least, we have Wild Force. Sweet. So, those are the 10 cards that come with it. So, you get a nice mix of Mega Force cards plus Veteran Ranger cards. We'll be getting more Veteran Ranger cards as the action card game starts being released in February or something like that. So um, be on the lookout for those. I will um, I will be collecting the card game since I, I like collecting cards. So I'll try to concoct a video of some sort when I get the full set or close to the full set or something like that to show off uh, additional sounds. Now one thing worth noting, just to demonstrate is that it doesn't matter how big the card is. As long as the barcode scans right into this section of the device, it will pick it up. So if we can kind of do this. So that gave us light speed rescue yellow. Um, so you can, if you have a good amount of ghost aid cards, you can actually kind of get quite a few, um, different sort of sounds. Um, I do have my binder of cards right here if we want to we'll see what uh, what Groundion does just because he's here. Lost Galaxy Ranger. Lost Galaxy Ranger. I wonder if that's supposed to be um, uh, what's his face? Magna Defender. Since I guess he would be Lost Galaxy Black, but that's fine. So I'm not going to go through all of these just because that would take a lot of time. Um, Raz from Ranger Board is doing a wonderfully fantastical job of um, compiling all of the sounds that are in the Ghost Say Morpher and like cards that are associated with them and barcodes that are associated with them. So um, once he's complete with that, I might make a video, I'm not sure yet. But uh, he's doing an absolutely fantastic job, so hats off for uh, to him for doing something like that. That's really cool. Uh, and last but not least, we have this wonderful stack of uh, power cards to go through. Um, a lot of these play duplicate sounds, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will go through the ones that have additional sounds. So here's Megaforce Red. So kind of like a transformation from Mega Force Red. Um, this has the same barcode as you can see, so those are the same. You can kind of guess what this one's going to play. Robo Knight. Robo Knight. Um, the change cards all play Go Go Mega Force, same as the red one. So we're gonna go ahead and skip all of those. These play the Summon Zord sound, same as that one. So we're gonna skip that one. Uh, this plays the Summon Mega Zord sound. From the other Ghost Say Great Megazord card right here. Actually, it's a different card. I think this one plays Victory Charge, honestly. Let's try it. Yep. Should have figured that out, considering it's the same barcode as the rest of these, and these all play Victory Charge. Again, Summon Zord. Summon Megazord, I believe, or is it Victory Charge? I don't know, I got confused easily. Uh, that was Summon Megazord for this one. Summon Zord, Summon Megazord, Mega Force Red, Summon Zord, um, Victory Charge, 
Summon Zord. Um, this one is the Summon Battle Gear sound. The one that comes with the Robo Knights, uh, the one that comes with the, uh, the Robo Morpher. So that's the Summon Battle Gear one. Um, summon Megazord, Summon Megazord, Summon Megazord, Summon Megazord, and just because I do love the way that it sounds. Robo Knight. I like that, that's fun. So nothing really new within this big pile of cards here um, in terms of new sounds. But like I said, if you do own uh, Gosei cards from Tenso Sentai Gosager, or you wait a little bit and um, the good folks at Ranger Crew and Raz work their magic and get a nice system of barcodes going, you can unlock all the sounds without owning a lot of the cards. You'll just have to print them out like they did when Gosager and uh, Kamen Rider uh, Decade aired. So, or Decade. So, um, yeah, really cool. So you get a lot of playability with just these 10 cards. Owning a bunch of the other ones will only get you a few sounds that are actually new. Um, but yeah, outside of that, go go Megaforce. Oh, no, you're just going to do nothing. I forgot. If um, you do the card thing without a card in it, uh, with uh, it actually being on, unlike when it aired the first time throughout this video, um, it will just go do nothing, and you can error it, um, like if you do this. It'll beep at you, because it can't read a card. So this is actually a very, 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 very cool toy. Um, I mean, just looking at it, this is probably the best morpher to come out of Bandai of America since they started doing their own molds. The Overdrive Tracker from Operation Overdrive was a fairly close representation of the uh, cellular. There were a couple sounds missing, but in terms of size and shape, it was pretty much a dead ringer. Um, this is just like that. Um, I've read a lot of reports on Twitter of people having them next to each other because they're trying to experiment with cards and stuff, and they pick up the wrong one on accident, which is very easy to do if you're not paying close attention. So, this is just an absolutely incredible toy. It's $29.99. Um, I got this off Amazon.com. I don't think it's been found at normal retail yet. So, keep that in mind. But, very, very cool, cool, absolutely awesome toy. Um, this is one of the ones where I can't say the Japanese one is better, because they have the same exact functionality. In fact, this one even has a bonus mode of the TCG mode. Um, which is kind of redundant because it's not really useful for anything, but... I think it's just a side game for the TCG, uh, like power level 4 is 210. So you have that going. I think it is, it's kind of like war or something, maybe? It changes no matter how many times you do this. Occasionally, it'll uh, say special effect, which is what I'm trying to do right now. So you got power level 1, special effect 3, except for the fact that I have no idea what special effect 3 is. Um, maybe that's a gimmick for the action card game that we don't know because we don't know how the game's played yet. That's always a possibility, but you even have that as an added little bonus, which I think is uh, kind of neat. So it's one of the things where I can't say one is better than the other. If you are a Power Ranger fan, then obviously this is for you. You do not want the Ten Soda, and it ain't going to help you whatsoever. Normally with like the weapons and the, the morphers and stuff that don't say specific things, you can say, oh, the Japanese one's better because it's more screen accurate. This one's not only fairly screen accurate, obviously the Ten Soldier is a lot more screen accurate because of the, like, the inside and stuff. But this one does such an amazing job. It's still plenty affordable. I think $30 is incredibly affordable for this. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, so you got a little bit more form factor to it. And it's just an overall great looking toy. All together. So props to Bandai of America for pulling a absolutely amazing morpher release. 
Um, you get 10 power cards to boot, so that's really cool. Plus, the veteran ranger cards are really fun. Plus, uh, if you got, like, ghost Sager cards and stuff, you can keep trying to get some more sound, so that's always fun, too. Very cool. If you're a fan of Megaforce, which I, you probably don't know yet because the show's not on until January or February, but, um... If you if you like the show, if you're watching this at a later date, obviously pick this up. If you're a Power Ranger fan, period, um, definitely still pick this up. The Veteran Ranger cards are a very nice touch. Um, and who knows if we're going to do Ranger keys with the Mobirates and stuff with this saying, the Veteran Rangers. Who knows? I certainly don't. But regardless, absolutely incredible toy. Props to Bandai of America for making an absolutely remarkable toy. Uh, this is probably the Mega Blade of the Mega Force line. Uh, it's it's that good of a toy. So very, very cool and definitely, definitely recommended over the Ten Soder if you are strictly a Power Rangers fan. So be sure to check out ShukanShinobi.com for this updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.